Hello and welcome to week three of Composition 2. I wanted to do a short video going over the assignments of this week. We are well on our way to reviewing They Called Us Enemy, and I've been reading through those three responses, and I know a lot of you have trouble with the idea that it's a comic book. I know it's it seems like it's not a real genre, it's something for kids, but it's it's a real genre, and this is probably a good way to tell the story without using as many words. We can draw those pictures up. So I think it's an interesting way to convey these ideas. We've reviewed uh, for Composition 2 another book that was a graphic novel or graphic memoir. It was Marjane Satrapi's uh, Persepolis, which is about escaping Iran during the Iranian Revolution. So it was very interesting. Um, some of you, I know, are going to have trouble getting into this book, and that is okay. This is a review. You're allowed to dislike the book. So uh, well, that's good. We're going to interact with it. We're going to discuss it. We're going to talk about what makes it good, what makes it not so good. What are we missing? What do we need to know? What are those expectations? And so our discussion board prompts are designed to help us write this review, work out what are we thinking, what are our expectations. So when it's time to draft our review, you'll be able to go back, look at your summaries, look at your discussion boards and take those and say, okay, this is what I thought. Here's how that's changed. We're kind of recording our thoughts. So you can look back at it and use that in your review. So it's going to be a lot easier, I hope, than just sitting down and saying, okay, I got to write this review because a review is different than a book report. A book report says this happened, this happened, and this happened, and I like it. Did. Instead, a book review is looking at, here's the expectations. Here's what the book promises me from this cover or from this this idea here's what I expected and here's how it met or failed to meet these expectations here's the type of people that would like this book here's the type of people that probably should avoid this book and that's really what a review does so uh, I hope that can help clear things up the other thing is we're starting to look at topics and uh, we read Sean Blanda's The Other Side is Not Dumb that essay I usually save to about week four or five in this class, but I brought it out in week two because I think it brings up uh, this idea of binary opposition, of, of, of zero-sum th thinking, where it's in order for me to win, you have to lose. In order for you to get better, something has to be taken from me. That's zero-sum thinking. That there's only is a finite amount of resources or whatever. So if you know we we give these people money means I don't have any, right? That sort of stuff. Or if those people get jobs, I don't have a job. So that's zero-sum thinking. How do we get out of that trap of either or or binary, meaning two sides sort of thinking? So um, as we start looking at our topics, we had a discussion board where I'm asking you to go through a variety of topic worksheets. Some of you are doing this already. And some of you I know are a little bummed that you don't get to do some of these more controversial topics. And the reason why, and I explained that earlier, uh, is that if you're being asked to research something that you think you know a lot about, you're going to be, I hate to say blind, but you're going to have tunnel vision. You're going to only focus on doing one thing. Here's why I am right. And that's not the goal of this paper. This goal is to explore something, reach a solution that you think will uh, appeal to the broadest audience, as opposed to saying, this is why I'm right, or this is why my beliefs are correct, and you have to follow those. And there's a big, big difference. And that's why I take out uh, those highly controversial, highly uh, ideological things that are based on how we view ourselves. And so I really wanted you to see the echo chamber and how that perpetuates your own viewpoint. Um, so as we move closer to these topics, um, the best thing I will tell you is that choose a topic that you would be okay with finding out you're wrong, or not necessarily wrong, but be okay with the other side having a stronger argument, something that you'd be willing to concede. So that's why I take away those, those arguments on abortions and guns and even drugs and, and things like that, because they're too, they're very broad, of course, but they're too easy to conflate with the sense of morality or right and wrong when in you know, many cases, right and wrong can be subjective. 
And that, that's, that's a hard thing because we can get the moral relativism and all sorts of stuff, and that becomes too difficult. And that's why we have controversies. But our idea is we need to pick something that you feel you can be engaged with, that you look at and say, okay, well, let's, let's really break this topic down. So we're going to be doing that again this week. So you can see, I'm going to slide over just a little bit more. Uh, we're continuing to read They Called Us Enemy. Uh, there's a lesson on claims and warrants. I don't know where that is. Right down here where I talk about it just a little bit more to help us out. Um, we also have a response. So I'm asking you to respond to six of your classmates' topics. And I give you kind of a, uh, 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 what am I going to say, a template. I don't know what I was going to say. A template for how to respond. Um, just pick six people, try to respond to them, and uh, move on. You know, we're not here to judge people. We're help. We're here to help people think. We're here to ask questions. Um, is this a good topic? Is this an interesting topic? Have you thought about this? Or I'm looking at something similar, but along this lines. Because we are not experts on these topics. No matter how much research we have done, we are not experts. We will sort of become experts later on as we move into this. Uh, let's see. So there's a discussion board on they call this enemy as well, reading about claims and warrants, and then there are tutorials on how to use the library. Hopefully, uh, if you're in Comp 2, you have used the library before, so uh, make sure you watch these. In addition, get a library card. If you do not have a library card barcode number uh, that's on the back of your student ID or sent to you by a librarian, you need to either let me know or talk with the library. You should uh, be able to contact them by going to the library website. There is a overview of the research project. Please read through this. Um, it'll be very, very helpful because we're gonna do a lot of assignments and people think that, okay, well, I'm done now. No, we're putting it all together. It's a big project. And then finally, last discussion board is looking at narrowing your topic. So it takes us to a little seatbelt handbook. Um, we have discussions from discussion six to look at and there'll be feedback from me as well. Uh, we still have a couple weeks before we need to really narrow down our topic. So you're not locked into it yet. I really want you to give this a lot of thought, listen to your feedback, check for feedback. Um, that way you're doing it the best you can. That is week three. I know it's a short week because we have Labor Day, so please make sure you enjoy Labor Day. Even if you have to work, try to enjoy this weekend a little bit. Um, it's not a whole lot of work, I don't think, but hope it might seem like it. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. If you have questions or concerns, please make sure you contact me and have a great week.